So this is Gracie's New York City obedience routine for the next couple of weeks uh, until you get to California. And then I'm going to send you a California obedience routine that'll be overlapping but different. Um, my commitment to you is that by the time you return in January, I will have learned to use my new Mac uh, laptop to do uh, more stylized videos. But until then, you'll have to tolerate my low tech. So here is the first thing. These are the things that we are going to work on in New York City. The downstay, the weight, leave it off, which is to prevent jumping, and then on leash, you're going to go to the park and practice figure eights and direction changes. And I'm gonna show you all of these things uh, on video. We're gonna do video dems for all of them. So what I want you to remember, this is especially true for leash things. You're going to be doing um, practice exercise, practice exercise, practice exercise that will then start to influence the way she walks in a normal walk. I do not want you to rely on your normal walks as the time to do the training. I want you to do the training ideally when you have enough room to go back and forth and do figure eights, find something to weave around, but also when there is as little distraction as you can find. To that end, if you're in an apartment building that has a hallway and you can do figure eights in the hallway with minimal distraction, all the better. So the idea here is, is that when you're doing the figure eights and even the direction change exercises, when you're doing those things to start improving her skills, building that muscle, if you will, you want to start out with as little distraction as possible and gradually build up and add distraction. So um, how you do that is going to be your judgment because I haven't seen the area. Um, but knowing that you have that park nearby, if you can find a little quiet corner or if you can go at times where it's a little less crowded, whatever uh, suits you. Let me put this board up again once more. These are the only things that I want you to be thinking about. The downstay, the weight, and we're going to use the crate for that and also do weight on leash. Um, leave it, which you guys are good at, off to teach her not to jump on people, and then on leash, figure eights and uh, direction changes. Okay, so let's get started. Let me go get the baby doll. Okay, here we are getting ready to do the downstay. And I've made a different video for you. You can refer to this one and the other one. What I want you to do is plan to start working on this with the leash on. Eventually you can move off of the leash, but as we discussed, it's a lot easier for you to show her what you want when you can just step on the lead versus bending over and pointing and going through physical antics. So when you're starting, you don't even wait to see if she's going to comply. You use the leash from the get-go. So drop the leash into a, a really soft, easy position, even on the ground or just in a J. Now remember, we never say the word wait. I have to beg your pardon. We never say the word sit prior to down. If she sits on her own, that's great. But we will tell her down whether she's standing or sitting. For example, here we go. I'm going to use the leash because this is how I want you to start. Gracie, down. Good. Good. I'm still standing on the leash. Good. Good. And we rapid fire her th three treats. Good. While she's chewing, we move away a little bit. We even walk about. This is called proofing. Have her wait a few seconds while we move around and then we say, break. Yes, 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 good. One treat for the break, one treat. The reason that we're doing multiple treats when she lays down is because it encourages her to sort of settle in when we're giving her those treats. We don't need to do that on the break. So once again, standing, Gracie, down, yes, and notice, always do the point, yeah, good, say good, good, good. So as time goes by, if she gets up early, let's see if we can get her to do that, if she 
Hips up early, we just step on the lead and point to put her back down. As time goes by, our proofing, the walking around, becomes more challenging. We do a full circle. When we walk behind a dog, that is challenging. And then if we really want to challenge, we step over her. Amazing. Got up early. Now, I really pushed her limit there. She did great. And I, for the sake of the video, spent more time than I ordinarily would have. But there she is. Break. Yes, 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 yes. Good girl. So as time goes by and she gets better and better at staying down, you will start really experimenting with the proofing. You'll move around her. You'll walk further away. You'll step over her. You go behind her. What you're doing is you're really trying to create temptation to trigger her to jump up early. The more she stays down, the more impulse control she's developing, which is going to help you in all kinds of ways beyond the down stay. So one of the great early proofing things to do, Gracie, down. Good. 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 Is eventually to drop the leash. The actual dropping of the leash is not the temptation so much as the picking it back up. That tends to trigger dogs to hop up, but not brilliant dogs. Break! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so if you ever have questions about how many other ways can I proof her, feel free to give me a buzz. But just know that as she gets really good, you'll find yourself walking around a living room, walking behind furniture. You might even get to the point in two weeks, if you practice daily, where you will walk out of her vision and come back in. Just know that if she pops up early, all that tells you is she's not quite ready for that level of impulse control. So we dial it back down and we go back to uh, shorter periods of staying down. Okay? After the two weeks, you go to California, resume using the leash, and then what I'm going to do is send you some video of starting to um, get rid of the leash. But before you get rid of the leash, you really want to get her acclimated and get yourself acclimated to giving hand signals, to not bending over and getting uh, down into a play position with her. The more she gets used to this, the easier your life will be. So every time you say it, every time you step on the lead, every time she pops up early and you want her to go back down. Okay? All right. That is the downstay. More later.